Hello Aquarius viewers, today I'm going to be looking into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, just seeing where you're at with your love life. Yeah, let's get started. So this could be an ex, could be a current partner, somebody new coming in. Let's see what's going on with your love life. So Aquarius viewers, what is going on with your love life? Various flavors, what is going on with your love life? <laughs> so then a cups, so wishing, dreaming, waiting, hoping for somebody to get it together. Um, Ace of Wands, the Empress, you know, coming into your power. Seven of Wands, Fights, comp Competition, Three of Wands, King of Cups. So getting out of this energy though, so that's good. You know, somebody kind of brings some stability into your life, it looks like. They get you out of, they understand you, they're patient with you, they get you out of this energy that you're in. Um, they have empathy with you, I think. It's somebody that's very gentle with you when you need it the most. And then we have the Knight of Wands here. I almost get the energy of some type of mental illness with either you or with your person. And again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not making any diagnoses. I'm just saying that's what the energy is. I could totally be wrong. You know, full disclaimer, you never want to take my advice over the advice over a professional. Like, always take professional advice. My readings are for entertainment purposes only. Um... Because I feel like this is you. You're in the Seven of Cups energy. This is like dreams and fantasies, but it's also like illusion and like fear and just kind of like, like you were doing shadow work last um, reading I checked. So I think it's like that same energy where you kind of, you're kind of starting to, you're still in it, but you're still kind of moving through it where you're just, um, you're just doing the shadow work, I feel. It's it's like you're dreaming and you're you're sorting through a lot of things in your head. And you're making choices, and there's somebody around you that's kind of make, waiting for you to choose them. You know, they're they're kind of like noticing you, and they're trying to support you, and they're they're looking at you. And it's like you're looking away, and you're not fully noticing them, but they're trying to support you and be there for you, and they're trying to be chosen by you. Um, and I kind of feel like, because I always read these cards intuitively, so the meaning can always change. But like with the Empress. I almost feel like that's you, but it's like you have a very free-spirited, beautiful way of doing things and being. Um, you have a very, like, I don't give a, you know, damn kind of attitude, like just a very relaxed attitude. But sometimes I think it comes off like, I think like a lack of caring or it comes off the wrong way. I don't know. It's like you can be overly defensive, I feel. It's like there's like com like competition and power struggles and like defensiveness and arguments, but it's like arguments that there's no need for, you know what I mean? It's almost like self-sabotage. It's like, like defensiveness, but there's like not a need for defensiveness. It's like whoever this energy is, it's like they love you and they support you and they're trying to be there for you. They're not... Like, there's no need for the defensiveness, you know what I mean? Like, you don't have anything you need to defend with this person. If this is your reading, you know what I mean? Like, you wouldn't know if this person is toxic or not. So if they're, this is somebody that would not be toxic, this is a man that would, like, not be toxic. This is a man that would be loyal and loving and supportive. And it's almost like you're just, like, looking for things to be wrong with their relationship. Almost like you're nitpicking and you're, like... Like, nothing's wrong, but you're, like, finding things that are wrong or something or looking for things to be wrong kind of thing. Um, and it's like you're... You can come off harsh. You really... You can come off harsh. You can come up the wrong way sometimes. But he's very loyal and loving and empathetic and supportive of you. And he's trying to be there for you regardless of all that. What's wrong? What's wrong with you? Come here. Sorry, my cat's, like, whining at me all of a sudden. Um, I'm just trying to be there for you regardless of that. And then we have the Knight of Wands. 
which is like impulsiveness and just like this fast, fiery kind of energy. Um, I almost feel like this is like the type of energy where it's like you get like really wasted drunk and then like they have to like take care of you and protect you and make sure you're okay. Which like I've done that plenty of times too. Like I've, I've all of us do that when we're drunk. There's no worries, but it's like that kind of energy that I'm picking up here. It's like somebody that like takes care of you or like wants to take care of you and they're like loyal and supportive of you. So it's like a good, it's a very like stable, grounded person. I just think that they're feeling like unappreciated by you. Like they're not understanding why you're like sabotaging this connection or why you're doubting them or why you're questioning everything they do or like they're just not like getting they're not understanding it. They're not understanding, like, why you need to need to look for things to be wrong with the connection, you know what I mean? Like, they're trying to be patient with you, though. They know that you've been hurt a lot, and they do love you. Um, but again, they just, they, they don't get it, you know? I mean, like, they, they do get it, but they just, they just wish that you would be more gentle and um, kind of let your defenses down and just be more open with them and not be so guarded and so competitive when it's not necessary. Um, and you do, you know, you have a good man here. For this, for this group that I'm reading, you, you really do have a good man, so you don't want to sabotage this. You want to be careful how you go about this, you know, because this, this really is a good person. What can you tell me about this King of Cups? What else can you tell me? What else can you tell me about this King of Cups? Loyalty, you know, he's loyal. He, he or she is loyal. They love you. They stick by your side no matter how hard it gets. Um, and it's successful. Like, this is a really good, stable, grounded, loving person. It really is. This could be a successful relationship, but you have to let it. And then we have, let's see what this is trying to say. We have deceit. See, it's like, she's like looking at the King of Cups. Like, oh, is he being deceitful? Is he going to cheat on me? Because I think that you're bringing your baggage from your past relationships into this relationship is what I feel. Is that somebody hurt you a lot and you're projecting all of that onto this new person that's either just come in or about to come in. Or like, it's like, it's like a very new energy. So it's like a new relationship that you have started or you're about to start. Um... And it's like, look, she's looking at him. Look how she's looking at him. Like, so, like, hostile and angry and, like, questioning and, like, interrogative. Like, what are you doing? Why did you go out late? It's almost like this controlling energy, too. And this man doesn't want to be controlled. He doesn't want to deal with you going through his phone. Um, and honestly, you guys are bringing that baggage into the relationship. You're bringing your past baggage of what men or women did or didn't do and you're bringing all of that into this new relationship and you're going to end up sabotaging this really good relationship and you don't want to do that. You know, you can't control this man. You can't keep questioning him all the time unless there's actually a good reason for it. You can't keep interrogating him. You've got to stop and meditate and calm down and be in the moment and listen to him. Listen to have a heart to heart open conversation with him. Be more gentle. Get in your more get in a more gentle energy with him. Be softer with him. Don't sabotage this. You know, this is a really good connection. Don't sabotage it. Um because it's like, yeah, he's like a good, stable, loyal, grounded, loving man. And you're like not used to it. And here you are and you're like, okay, what's the catch? Like, is he gonna cheat on me? Do I need to like going through his phone and like or wanting to go through his phone, or just like that kind of energy where like, okay, I know he's going to screw up somehow, or like, like, okay, men are not this good, like, just that kind of energy, and it's like, somebody hurt you a lot in the past, and you're not over it, you didn't get closure with that person, and you need to get closure with that person, maybe, because you're bringing all that baggage into this new relationship, um, and it's, it's normal, like, when you've been hurt a lot, it's normal to bring some of your issues into the relationship, but you're just bringing... It's too much of it, you know what I mean? Like, it's normal if you've been hurt a lot to have trust issues and be afraid when you meet somebody new. Like, it's normal 
to take time to open up, you know what I mean? It's normal to be scared, it's normal to be damaged, we're all human, we're all damaged, but this is just too intense, it's too much, you know what I mean? It's not just like a little bit of like normal trust issues and damage, this is like, you know, it's, it's controlling, it feels controlling, it's, it's almost, it's just, it's, it's like just such a harsh energy, it's such a like, just, why did you do this? Why did you do that? Why were you gone an extra hour? Why are you, are you cheating on me? Why are you, what were you doing? Why do you have female friends? It's like that kind of energy. Um, or just like, maybe if you're not doing that, like at least like, you know, kind of sabotaging and thinking like, oh, any minute now this is going to end or this is going to, he's going to screw me over. Something's going to happen. It's like, you're just being negative and looking for the worst. I'm not going to lie. That's what I get from this group. And, um, you know, again, this man loves you and he really does love you. He genuinely loves you and you're not used to that, but you, you have to decide to, you have to make a change now if you want to keep this relationship because, you know, everybody has their breaking point and you can't keep testing him and testing him and testing him because eventually he will break and he will say, screw it. Even, even the strongest man will eventually break and just say, you know, screw it, time is up, I'm done. Um, my alarm just went off too when I said that. I don't know if you guys heard that. Um, you know, because eventually, yeah, he, he will just, he'll have had enough and he won't be able to do it anymore. He's trying really hard to be patient because he sees through all that. He sees through, he sees your soul. He sees the person, he sees that this is a deep soul level psychic connection. He sees the person that's inside. He sees who you really are. You know, he sees you on that deeper level. Um, this is a very emotionally deep man or woman. And and they just, they see you on that level. They understand you. But um, but yeah, you're just bringing too much of that. You're, you're projecting what other people did to you in the past onto this person. You know what I mean? Like you're blaming him for things that he hasn't even done. You know, um, you're just putting so much pressure on him and he's going to snap and he's going to be done, but he's a stable, he's a good man. So he's not going to be done in like a violent, like I think in the past when you, when you, I think you're used to the drama. I think in your past you had these dramatic, chaotic relationships where there was these fights and with him, you're not going to get that so much. What you're going to get is he's just going to walk away and he's going to like leave you on read and he's just going to ignore you. He is just not going to, he's not going to do it. He's not going to do the drama. He's, he's not the type of person that does the drama. He really isn't. Um, he really isn't. So he's not going to like get into these fights and like this codependency and these hot, cold, unstable relationships. Like that's not for him. That's not him. This is a very stable man. Like you're very lucky to have this person. I'm not going to lie. This is a really good energy that I get from this reading. So you got to like take that blindfold off and realize what you have while you still have it or you're going to end up losing it. Um, so yeah, you really, you really need to, um, if this is your reading and it's like, you know, you have a good person and you know that you're, you're, that all this energy is just coming from past relationships, you really got to work on that and you got to let him know that you're working on that too. And you got to show him through your actions and words and efforts that you're working on that and you're letting go of that energy. Cause again, I feel this energy, I feel him like he loves you. He sees through you. He's. He's loyal, he's stable, he's grounded, but he's not, no one's going to deal with being tested again and again. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of where he's at, where he's like really hoping that he sees a gentler, softer side to you. He's hoping that you open your heart to him, that you just relax. Even if you want to take it slow, you can take it slow. You just need to not question him and not interrogate him and not constantly... Um, like be seeking reassurance and and blaming him for things that he didn't do you know what i mean which i know i totally understand because i've been there so many times too with men like not recently but like in the past i i did used to do that with men where it's like i was so scared of getting hurt that i you know thought nothing good could last and it's like i would question it and i would sabotage it and i would need constant reassurance and i would like always they would say something. I'd be like, oh my God, why'd you say that? Why would you say that? What do you mean? And it's like, they would just be joking around or they would just, you know, you know what I mean? It's like, I was constantly looking for things to be wrong. 
And um, that's that energy I feel from this reading. And it's like, you have to stop that now. Like, you can't even, like, do this, like, a couple weeks from now. you got to stop it now or you're going. he's going to just get to a point where he's done. And, again, with this man, he's not going to be done in a violent, chaotic way. It's not going to be physical abuse or verbal abuse or any of that. It's not going to be like that. It's just going to be he blocks you and he's out. It's that kind of energy. So you need to realize that you have true love here. You got to realize you have true love here and you got to decide if you want to take that risk. You know, relationships are risky. They are scary. They, they really can be scary. Um, but you got to decide if this King of Cups, this, this loyal, grounded, stable, loving, protected man, you got to decide if he's worth the risk to you or not. Because, you know, it's pointless. Like, whenever I've fallen in love with somebody, what I've always thought about it is, like, it's pointless to be scared. Like, I'm going to be scared, but it's, like, pointless to act on the fear. Because, like, once you're in love, you're in love. Like, you're there. You can't just take it back. You know what I mean? Like, once you're in love, like, that person has you. And they have you for a long time. Um, so it's, like, the fear doesn't help you. The fear doesn't protect you. If you fall in love, you fall in love. You're already there. So there's no point in the fear. You know what I mean? Like, you already love this person. Why be scared? Like... Or why act on that fear, you know what I mean? Like, you got to decide. Do you want to take that risk or not? Um, but, yeah, you do have love here. And you got to decide which direction you want to move in. If you want to move forward or you want to move back to the past. And you got to use your intuition. And you got to ground yourself and meditate more and try to be in the moment. And really, really talk to this King of Cups because he needs to know he's appreciated more. He needs to know he's loved and appreciated. Um... Try to just, he needs like this gentle, playful, loving energy, you know, he needs that sometimes. It can't just be all stress and all work and all, all this baggage and all this shit. It needs to be like fun and loving and happy sometimes and just like romantic and sweet. Like he really needs to see that softer side to you because right now it's like he's looking for it and he's seeing it deep down, but he needs to see it on the surface too. He needs to see it on a, a more regular basis. Um... So really let your man know that he's appreciated and loved and maybe do something special and sweet for him and, and use your intuition and ground and try to be in the present moment a little bit more. And, you know, he gets that you're, you're, you mean, this is, well, this is like a fragment card. So I think it may mean you need to do some soul retrieval is what I, what I feel. So yeah, let me know if that resonates you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye. Please, oh, um, share and, and like and subscribe if it does. Thank you guys.